Hey, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna to talk to you guys about snowboard boots and give you some advice so that you can find the best pair of snowboard boots for you that are pain-free and gonna be as comfortable as possible on the mountain. I think that boot pain is probably the most common problem in snowboarding. It stops a lot of people from getting out there and really enjoying snowboarding. So hopefully through this video, I can help you guys find a comfortable pair of boots and never experience boot pain again. So let's just first just run through some of the most common types of boot pain. I think the first one is just pressure points down the side of the boot. For me, I've had a few pairs of boots where there's been just really painful pressure points either down the side, down the back where my Achilles is, or even across the top of the tongue of the boot. So pressure points is something to definitely look out for. Another area is at the bottom of your boot where your arch is. So the bottom of your foot just becoming really achy because of a lack of support at the bottom of the boot. Also just having boots that are too small so you're getting your toes cramped at the front. This is one of the worst parts about boot pain. A problem that I've had is getting snowboard boots where my toes are not just touching but they're like pressing against this end and a lot of times people will tell you don't worry about it this is going to expand and you're going to be fine but i've had at least five pairs of boots in my life where i've gotten my foot measured there may have been a little bit of pain when i was trying on the boots but then throughout snowboarding for the first like couple weeks or month i was just dying in pain because this area of the boot didn't expand and I was just dealing with that pain and eventually either had to sell the boots or give them away. So for me, my shoe size is 10 and a half and my snowboard boot size is nine and a half. So I do go down one size. So I'd recommend when you're starting out trying on boots, start with your same size as your shoe, then try a half a size smaller and then try a full size smaller and see how that feels. So let's quickly go over the different parts of the snowboard boot and how they may affect the comfort. First, you've got the outer shell of the snowboard boot. This is what gives the boot its rigidity, its stiffness. Also, it's what makes the boot waterproof. And with this part of the boot, what can cause boot pain? I mean, first, on the inside of the boot, if there's any like harsh materials, like sharp bits, or just like unfinished parts on the inside of this harsh material, that's what can give you those pressure or pain points. Also, how stiff and restrictive the material is. So this boot is a mid-flex, and I find with a mid-flexing boot, your ankle and your foot is gonna be able to move. Allowing your foot to move around gives you some comfort as well. If this outer shell becomes too stiff and too restrictive and you can't move your foot inside, that's when I think you can get some real foot and ankle pain because all those muscles in your foot are just kind of locked in place, potentially giving you some bad foot pain. The lacing system of the boot, so I've got traditional laces with this power strap at the top. The reason that I've chosen laces is because in my opinion, laces are by far the most comfortable. This nice soft lace, when you do it up tight, it's gonna give you a comfortable feeling compared to, the, to some of the other systems that may be metal or made from a really strong rope material. For the one minute it takes for me to do up these laces, I don't mind trading that off for the comfort of laces. You also have the sole of the boot, and this is an important factor, and obviously the tread for doing some hiking, but also the thickness of the sole is important, and I like a sole that's not too thick, and actually just a little bit thinner, because it allows you to feel what's going on with your snowboard. You also want a sole that's gonna give you some cushioning for landing things, all that kind of stuff, for absorbing vibration. If you're to have a boot sole that's very hard and rigid, then you're gonna feel all those vibrations coming up through your boot. On the inside of the boot, you have the inner liner, and this is another thing that will contribute to your foot's comfort. These Vans liners have this X cage, so this is designed to keep your heel locked into the back, but with this added foam material, so your ankle bone can sit here and keep your heel locked in behind. The thickness and rigidity of the inner liner is also really important to look for. So this one, it's decently thick, telling me a few things. One is it's gonna give me that cushion so that I'm feeling most of this and not most of this hard shell. 
and it's also a bit rigid too. So some of the rigidity of the boot is gonna come from the inner sole. The other place for comfort is on the inside. So when I look inside here, it looks like it's gonna be nice and comfortable. There's not any weird pieces of material that are sticking out potentially, giving you that pain around your ankle. On the inside of the inner liner, you also have the footbed. This is what gives you arch support, gives you some more cushioning as well. These are also very easy to uh, swap out or replace. So if you have like a really high arch and need some extra arch support, then you can swap this out. Get one from a drugstore for $30 or you can get custom footbeds up to $300. For me, this one has been super comfortable, but if you need that arch support, then you got some options. And then inside the shell of the boot, there's also just some things to look out for. Any weird materials that could be giving you those pain points. I mean, this one does have some of the rivets where the lacing system goes, but of all the riding I've done, I've never felt any of these. It's probably because it's got a really good liner. So let's try on this snowboard boot and I'll give you guys some advice on how you should try the boot on and what to be looking for. So to start, I've undone all the laces as much as possible and just opened it up as much as I can. So if you have snowboard socks, bring these to the snowboard shop or snowboard stores will also pretty much always have snowboard socks that you can try on with your boots. For the inner liner, you wanna do this part first and I'm trying to keep everything nice and straight. So the van symbol is right in the middle. Then I'm gonna tighten these inner laces. So as I'm tightening this, I'm kinda of just rocking my foot into place. And then this guy right here goes down and locks. And I'm going to neatly put this part down, pulling the tongue down and making sure it's nice and centered. Now the first time I do these laces up, I'm going to try to do them as tight as I can. I'm also going to rock my knee forward, rocking forward, making sure my heel is settled in right at the back. One of the most important places to have tightness in your snowboard boot is at the top near your shin. Because when you're snowboarding, this is where a lot of your movements are gonna transfer into your snowboard. So you want this to be nice and tight. So the way your boot should feel and the way that this one feels right now is my toes are definitely touching the very end of the liner, but they're not squished. Even the top of my toes are sandwiched between two layers of material. If this is the liner, my toes have just like comfortably slid in. Also, when I stand up and I'm rocking back and forth, my heel is in place too. It's not lifting up out of the boot. If it was really lifting, that's giving me a sign that these boots are maybe too big. Another thing I would do is actually, if you're feeling like the laces are a little bit loose, you can always undo them, retighten them, and just make sure that they're as tight and as snug as possible. In a snowboard shop, you've got plenty of time. What I typically do is I'll spend like at least 20 minutes hanging out in the boots, making sure that there's no awkward pain points. Sometimes you can get some pain right here through the top of your foot, and it may be because these laces are too tight. You can always loosen off this part, make it a bit looser, and just keep the upper part of the boot tight. In the store, you wanna be walking around, bending your knees like you're in your snowboard stance and just feeling out the boot. Ideally, you wanna have no pain in the store and that's gonna to translate to no pain on the mountain. Another thing to watch out for when buying snowboard boots is overly aggressive or pushy salespeople. Sometimes salespeople do have really good intentions, but you know your feet better than they do. You know how something feels. So even if somebody is telling you that the foot pain you're feeling is okay or that you should be in a smaller size than you feel like you should be, at the end of the day, it's up to you. You know how they feel. So don't let somebody else's strong opinion or pushiness get you into a pair of boots. Another thing that can help you find the best pair of boots too is talking to friends and seeing what boots they recommend. If you have a friend that has a pair of boots and they absolutely love them, they think they're super comfortable, then that may be a snowboard boot that you wanna try out. The way that I found this boot, the Vans High Standard Pro, is I was just talking to lots of people, asking them what boots they ride. So many people were telling me that these were the most comfortable boots they've ever ridden, which made me give these a try. And to be honest, as soon as I get a brand new pair of these, I could be riding them all day long, go grocery shopping, go out for dinner, get home, and my feet are still perfectly fine. 
So a quick recap, watch out for those pain points. If you're feeling them in the store, you'll probably feel them on the mountain. Also make sure your snowboard boots aren't too small. That's gonna put you in a whole world of hurt. When you're trying on the boot, spend enough time in them to make sure that they're right size, your toes are comfortable, your heel is secure at the back. And then finally, don't get pressured into a pair of boots that might not be perfect for you. If you have any questions about snowboard boot pain, hit me up down in the comments. I'll also put a link to this boot in the description if you want to check it out. Thanks for watching, have fun with their snowboarding, and I'll catch you in the next video. He's dumping. <laughs>